so we'll there's like only one sum we have for provision so we'll try to work out that uh, if you want we'll also see the rules Puntco sells vacuum cleaners with a warranty customers are expected uh, are covered for the cost of repairs of any manufacturing defect that becomes apparent within the first year of purchase the company's past experience and future expectations indicate the following pattern of likely repairs so percentage of goods that would come with repair the defects and their cost to do it the warranty provision brought forward okay i think that's a opening balance the opening balance of already existing provision is this what amount should be recognized in the financial statement of punt co relating to the warranty for the year 2003 indicate the effort in sopl and sofp so first we have to find out what would be the provision value okay so current value value for warranty provision okay so or we can put current year value so that first we'll calculate so how we'll calculate that so we'll calculate using the percentages which is given okay so that is 12% into into 54500 so with that we have to add one more element 8% into 8% into 8 lakh okay so both numbers we'll find out what its value are Okay, so this is the uh, new or current year requirement of provision. Okay, or this is the total provision required. This is the total provision. So the total provision required in terms of repairs, it's going to be one lakh twenty nine thousand four hundred. See, there is already, okay, so there is already an existing provision and that comes to, and that comes to 99,750. So, how much you have to additionally provide? So, additional provision could be the difference between the two, this minus this, okay. So, this minus this. So, the additional provision is 29,650. Okay. So, this number could go to the SOFP and this number could go to the SOPL. So, that's about the sum. So, SOPL number would be 29,650 and SOFP number would be 1,29,400. So, that's about the sum. Hope you guys got a good idea about uh, intangible assets and as well as provision. So this is how IFRS standards work and mostly this is how all standards will also have similar provisions to work out. So thank you very much. We will end the video.